Hi everyone, Lord Crew here and welcome to my channel. So the topic for today is about that meta for weekend rank week 127. So without further ado guys, uh, let's proceed. So as you can see guys, we already have like the top weekend rank results. Uh, all of this information can be found in geodeck.com and as you can see guys, the current still number one meta for this week is still the war because of the war control. Uh, popularized by the war control followed by the frenzy aggro guys and the main reason why because of like uh, for the past two weeks guys uh, they buffed the soul survivor uh, they lower the casting cost and majority of all the war meta are using it so it dominates now the weekend rank but still on the death meta uh, board wipe deck still in the top 20 guys uh, so currently on the on the top 20 they are like uh, War and Nature and Board Wipe deck who enter the, the top 20 guys. So Board Wipe still uh, still popular uh, popular deck especially in high mythic rank. There is like some players playing uh, uh, a, a zoo zombie or zoo uh, an aggro deck guys. But Board Wipe deck, Board Wipe deck still one of the dominating deck guys. And as you can see guys... Uh, Currently on rank 3 guys, HP Pain. Uh, HP Pain is for the past few weeks dominating the, uh, the, uh, on the, always on the top 10 guys. And he always played this board wipe deck guys. And if we go check his, uh, build guys. So, uh, as you can see guys on his board wipe deck guys, if you try to refresh a little bit. Uh, he's using the traditional one, but instead of like having those, uh, Added, you're supposed to be like the end game for the board wipe deck are Polyhemia and Hippocreas, but he added Jason guys here. So I believe he added Jason for like uh against other control. We all know their like popularity of war control. So war control can either win aggressively in early, mid range, or the end game. Him he added Jason probably to uh have a fighting chance against the control other control deck, especially board wipe deck versus board wipe deck guys and as you can see uh almost like everything is the same guys one reap one neferus two apocalypse one end time uh hippocrias and neferus combo two half-life and others like the basic core guys guys so it's almost like the standard deck i think the one that has been removed here when we compare with the rank five guys is the flesh bind here so technically on the traditional one, this is by the far within. Uh, as you can see, he I believe this is like the same old uh traditional board wide like by popularized by A ANP. Remember ANP managed to get the 25 out of 25, like uh, uh I believe like uh a month ago or two months ago, and his build is like combination of two flesh bind but one sulfuric rain. So what happened guys in the current meta for board vibe deck, either you replace your endgame Polyhemia Hippocrias, they also changing the flesh bind. So as you can see for uh for H pain, he removed the two H bind, he added Jason, and he added sulfuric rain. But for the top five by the far within, he's using the traditional one, popular like popular by uh ANP. Uh He's using the traditional one here, two flesh bind and one sulfuric rain, and still the same, almost everything the same. One reap, one end times. His end game will be Pactias, combo with Neferus, Kopesh, and Polyhemia, guys. So this is like the traditional HPN, just up, remove flesh bind and edit the deck accordingly. And the last board wipe deck is on the rank 12, which is still managed to get 24 wins. If, as you can see here, so this one, the difference is he remains the polyhemia. He just added Jason here, but almost uh, uh, already identical. The only difference is, uh, like I said, uh, some players has one flesh bind too, but he added half-life. He, he removed one of the half-life. Usually, uh, some standard board wipe deck has dual half-life. Imagine you can like summon twice the fanatic of Kun to kill a creature your opponent. And also to increase your mana or any one of those your draw card guys. But here he uh, he removed one. He added one flesh bind. 
and he remove uh, the polyhemia guys and replace it with Jason. So he his end game are Hippocrates with Neferus and then Jason. So any any high casting cost uh delved by the player using Jason here because this is a legendary. You might get another Hippocrates, you might get uh, a polyhemia, even Avatar of War, anything that is legendary, guys. And no matter what, guys. So currently, guys. Board wipe tech is still the top uh, one of the best deck uh, out there, guys. The only thing is this is one of the most expensive deck, guys. Uh, I believe this is the most expensive because of Demogorgon, uh, Apocalypse now, guys, and some of the key cards. And as you can see, 80% uh, of the deck are, are, are majority are Genesis or expansion card. And as you can see, the only thing that is a core and welcome here are the Fleshbind, where core. Uh, just nibble a, a welcome card and be rock guys which is a core but the rest of the card guys are genesis trials and even uh, uh divine order guys i think the divine order are will be the polyhemia guys as you can see but the rest are like the classic uh traditional uh, trial of the gods genesis card and that's the main reason why so the other added here for the uh, divine order are the eva for more board control guys as you can see okay, if we get check the meta analysis guys uh, that is currently played 10 percent guys 10 percent is played by that majority like 80 per eight percent of that one will be the zombie like the zoo zombie or the death zombie and uh, as you can see he has like a third uh, with the highest win rate uh it's not because of the uh because of the board wipe deck it has lower win rate because of the uh, zoo zombie. So if we check further, as you can see, he's the uh like the fourth most played. Uh, magic is the third. Number one is uh, nature, popular, and followed by. But the highest win rates there are the war are the war because of the war control. And if we check the archetype, guys, board white deck is the highest win rate of them all. Still highest compared with the other war where we can see a combination of uh an aggro or war control guys but as you can see board wipe vibe still but the only downside of like there are only like almost two percent who play board wipe deck guys uh, only two percent so technically if there's a thousand players in mythic rank only 20 of them plays uh board wipe deck so high chance so if you play against on the weekend rank there might be like a zero chance for you to match up with a board wipe deck. Like zero chance, guys. It's like that how rate. So you will face a lot of like uh war and nature, guys. Compare facing a board wipe deck. But technically, if you manage to face board wipe deck, uh they have like a highest win rate. As you can see, he has like fifth, like all green to all of the kind of archetype, guys. As you can see here, even against uh aggro and even against uh, ad, uh war control uh super high win rate versus seven uh like the other nature and the other death which is usually zombies and other uh, aggro deck guys even the order deception he has like ice win rate also okay that's it guys so uh guys if you have like uh, uh questions or suggestions kindly leave a comment and if you like the video and for more uh, G uh, geotech kindly please subscribe and like and follow guys and see you next time thank you for watching there's a distance between us it's getting hard to reach out